Hey everybody, Dave Brown here from Okuma Fishing Tackle. On today's Tune Up Tuesday, we're going to talk about how to keep your baits properly tuned. If you happen to be fishing a bait like a buzz bait, this is the BioRat by Fish Lab, it's got two big feet on the back that actually rotate and create that big buzz splash. Now you might notice if you're fishing around a lot of structure like we are today, we got rocks, we got docks, we got stumps, we got all kinds of crazy stuff out on the water, you might hit that on a cast and it throws your bait out of tune. What you wanna do and on your retrieve, just pay attention to what your bait's actually doing. Is it rolling to the right? Is it rolling to the left? Is it getting knocked off center? Is one leg kicking, one not? Just pay attention as you're bringing it back to the boat, when you're bringing it back or to the shore, wherever you happen to be fishing. When you get it back, you can easily tune that bait. First thing you wanna do, make sure that your nose eyelet is running straight, just straight down the bait. If it happens to be off to the right or to the left, what that does on that long cast, when you're bringing it back, it's gonna pull that bait either to the right or to the left. So make sure that's nice in alignment to begin with. Then from there, on the feet, if you notice that one is splashing and kicking real hard or the other, you wanna take a look at those feet. You wanna make sure that those guys are perfectly in alignment. You can take a look at it from the back, you can take a look at it from the front. Just make sure that one is not bent up or one is bent down more than the other. If they are, there's a metal bar that runs through those. You can actually bend those up and down, make some short casts, bring it back. Just make sure that it's nice and easily aligned. If you're fishing another kind of deep diving or standard crankbait or a jerk bait, you can do the same types of alignment with that. Generally, you're fishing around the same structure, docks, rocks, maybe you're even in open water, but you hit something like a wire or something that happens to be underneath. You can get that same type of action. You can get that bait that's gonna roll or pull to the right, pull to the left, or make some odd movements. First thing you wanna check, check that nose there. You wanna make sure that you're all aligned up and it's nice and straight. A lot of times you're gonna see that it's tweaked just a little bit, or even something simple like you're not. You're not as tied down tight and it's pulling to one side. So just make sure everything is guided and lined up straightly. And uh, same on the back, you know, make sure your hooks, make everything's lined up. That way your bait is just running true. This is the same for most baits, deep diving crank baits. Anything that you're gonna tie that's got anything that's tunable, you can tune it. For more tips and techniques, head over to akumafishingusa.com.